It all starts with a ray of light appearing in the sky and a strange guy standing on the terrace of the house. Suddenly a girl comes there and shouts his name Gianto and asks him you are Gianto aren't you? Then the guy looks at her and says hello Issy. After that, the girl asks him what do you think you are doing? He turns back and replies I'm not and says my job is to prevent people from leaving this world. I will call back the spirit of the deceased. Then she asks him what? He replies your job involves the afterlife, while mine involves on this world. It seems we met again with an ill-fated relationship. After that the girl thinks it's been 10 years since Gianto and I met again. I tried to send the deceased to the afterlife, while Gianto tries to revive the deceased. Just what happened that pulled us apart? It was all because of a funeral 10 years ago. Meanwhile, 10 years ago an old man and doctor playing go together outside the hospital. While playing the old man says strangely, there isn't much work to do at both the funeral hall and hospital. After that, the doctor says we treat our patients with determination and vigor so that they won't have to be sent to the funeral hall after all. Then the old man says shucks, I chose the wrong place to run a funeral hall. To think a bachelor who wants to save people would arrive beside me. However, we can't do anything about a person's natural lifespan. One might be able to avoid having a wedding, but there is no way to avoid holding a funeral. After listening to all that, the doctor says looks like it's impossible for me to avoid defeat. Suddenly the dog stands up and looks forward. While walking Ising asks Gianto do you smell anything from me? Then Gianto replies did you spray perfume? After that, she says I am talking about an incense smell. The boys keep teasing me because my house is a funeral hall. After listening to her he says those guys said that I smell like hospital disinfectant. A kid whose family runs a fish market smells like fish, and a banker's dad's kid will smell like money. Then she says so I do smell. After listening to that Gianto shouts at her and says those kids are just teasing you so don't give them a reaction. Then she comes close to Gianto and says you really don't smell anything, do you? Then he says you don't smell. She replies that's a relief and says is it really that scary that my family runs a funeral hall? There's been a lot of funerals lately. There was one the day before yesterday too. There was a funeral for the grandpa who runs the gimbap store in front of the bus stop. Then Gianto says he was in the emergency room for a while. She says, so he was undergoing treatment at your hospital but then passed away. Then he was sent to our funeral hall. After that, he replies it's always been like that. My house is where we do work for people in this world. And your house is where you do work for people in the afterlife. Then she says but when I see the soul leaving towards the afterlife, it feels like they are still alive. After that Gianto asks her aren't you scared that you can see the deceased soul? She replies there are scary souls around. But the souls of people who die in peace don't scare me at all. Then she asks him could it be that you are scared of me too? He replies nope, whenever I look at you it's humorous. Still, I prefer a job like dad's where you work to save people better. A job where you try your best to keep people in this world for a little longer. After listening to him she says grandpa said that death is not the end. Then he asks what use is there in being dead. While she is shaking the bag she throws it up and the bag gets stuck on the tree. After that, the dog barks and the doctor and the old man says their names and waves their hand. Then both say hello to them. While looking up at the tree on which the bag is stuck Gianto says looks like they have a lot of time to spare since they are playing Go. I guess nobody got hurt and nobody died today. It must be an auspicious day. After that, they start counting and at 3 they both shake the tree by which the bag falls down from the tree. Meanwhile, in the evening, Ising's mom tells her to close the first floor door. While going down she replies that, Gianto's coming over to do homework. After listening to that, her mom says then just keep the smaller door open. Then she says okay and goes down. While opening the door she sees a strange spirit standing in front of her. After looking at that spirit she says there's no funeral here today. You have come to the wrong place. Just follow the voice that's familiar to you. You will be able to meet your family that way. Is it too noisy in the vicinity? But you have to find your family. They are all waiting for you. Hurry take care. After that, the spirit leaves. Then she sees someone coming to her. And it was Gianto who was coming to her to do homework. Then Gianto asks her why are you looking at me with such a weird look in your eyes. She replies I got confused for a second. Then she holds his hand and says when I take in the sunset. People and spirits look the same to me. After that, he asks her what do you see and why are you holding my hand all of a sudden. Then she says never mind forget about it, let's do homework. While going up Ising's mom says hello to him. Meanwhile, the spirit is still wandering to find his family. Suddenly the spirit listens to his family's voice that is calling him. Then the spirit goes inside the house from where the familiar voices were coming. Then the spirit sees his children and thinks I have arrived safely. Meanwhile, in Ising's home she says whenever we have a funeral, 
There's a saying that grandpa always says, when you take a look back at the long cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, the time spent in this world is nothing but a short moment like a leaf blowing across. Meanwhile, on the bridge, the car falls into the ocean and the boy who is sitting inside it drowns in the ocean. Suddenly a spirit comes there and lifts him up to protect her. The spirit was none other than the boy's mother who was also sitting inside the car with her but died. Then again Isin says, however, the fates of those who still remain in this world are roughly blown with a terrible death. Ten years ago we didn't know that this death would tear us apart. Then she says the grandpa I met earlier. I forgot. After listening to her, Gianto asks her what do you forget? She replies to pay him my respect so that his soul may rest in peace. Meanwhile, the next day the car is taken out of the ocean with the help of a crane. Suddenly a reporter comes to the spot who is suffering from a cold. While walking to the spot he thinks it's time for me to get off work yet they are sending me to gather news. Is it really necessary to cover a small car accident? After reaching the spot he thinks is this the site of the crash. After that, he goes towards the detective and says thanks for your hard work. My name is Kim Hyung Mok and I'm a reporter. So the car fell into the water. After listening to him the detective asks you came here to gobble up information huh? Then he replies don't say that detective I know you are busy but if you were to cooperate with a baby chick reporter such as I, it would give me strength. Feed me some information. After that, the detective turns back and says there's one child who survived. Immediately after the crash, people fetched him out of the water when they saw him floating there. Inside the car, two female corpses were discovered. It seems they sustained trauma caused by the car drowning. After that, the reporter asks what was the relationship between the two females, a mother and daughter or sisters or friends. Then the detective replies we are still investigating. After that, the reporter again asks how's the child's condition. The detective replies he was taken to the hospital and wasn't seriously hurt. After listening to that the reporter says the heavens took mercy on him. Since he is a young child, he has a higher probability of survival. Then the detective says his mom must have used to protect her whole body to protect him. After listening to that, the reporter says so you are saying that one of the females was the child's mother. Then the detective turns back and looks at him with frustration. Suddenly a call comes to the reporter he picks it up and says yes, director the site of the crash is Ji Jumak Group. Suddenly he sees the detective leaving and he runs towards his car, and again asks you finished with the identification. Why did you keep it a secret? Which hospital was the child taken to? Please tell me. Please. But the detective doesn't listen to him and leaves. After that, he gets angry and thinks to find out the child on his own, and says where could he be obviously it's the closest hospital that has an emergency department. Meanwhile, in the hospital, the doctor comes in and asks the receptionist, is the guardian still not here? Then the receptionist replies the police contacted the child's father and he's on the way. They seem to have a complicated relationship. After listening to her the doctor says it's better not to talk about those kinds of things at the hospital. We are only here to treat our patients. Then she says sorry to the doctor for that. Suddenly the receptionist who is talking on the phone to someone says the police are sending over the core here. After listening to that the doctor says I will stay with the child. If this guardian arrives, send him over. Suddenly the reporter enters the hospital and says I am here to meet the child who was involved in the car accident earlier. After listening to him receptionist replies he's currently in police custody. Only his guardian is permitted to enter and asks what's your relationship with the child. Then the reporter replies I am the father. After that, the receptionist says you got here pretty fast come this way, please. But while taking him she thinks he's totally different from the image I had of him. While going with the receptionist the reporter asks her what's the child's condition. She replies he isn't able to speak due to the shock of the accident. Then again he asks was the crash by coincidence? Who was the driver? After listening to all that, she turns back and asks him who the heck are you? And calls the police to let him out. During this moment she looks outside from the window and says people from the broadcasting stations have arrived. And also says to other receptionists to ensure that the reporters and cameramen can't enter. Meanwhile, in Ising's home, Ising says hey Gianto, the hospital's son help me out here. Then he replies to Ising, the funeral hall's daughter I'm busy here. After that, she says there's too much homework, flipping shapes is too hard, and asks him how can I flip these three times in my head. He replies just turn it. Then she says you are turning me crazy. After that, Gianto says if you can't flip it in your head just turn it. Then she turns her head. This makes Gianto frustrated and he says to turn your book, not your head, and asks her are you stupid. Suddenly she looks outside the window and says Gianto, there's a lot of cars coming into your hospital. There are ambulance and broadcast station cars. There must have been a major car accident for them to come here. After listening to her Gianto says do your homework. Then suddenly she something strange and says there are two. After listening to her Gianto asks her what do you see? She replies the deceased has arrived. One is bright the other is dark. It's so dark. While she is looking at the spirits the spirits turn back. 
and she falls down and says that was close. It's bad to lock eyes with dark spirits. After listening to Giangto asks her why, she replies because they stick to you. Grandpa said that misfortune would befall you. They try to take you to the afterlife with them. That's why you shouldn't go back to the hospital tonight, Giangto. After that, he says I probably have to bring a meal for my dad. He will have to work all night. Then she says no, don't run any errands for your mom. The spirit will stick to you like glue. While they are talking suddenly a spirit comes inside the room. Does the spirit going to harm them and the things that were said by Ising are true or not? What will gonna happen next to find out just do like, share, subscribe, and comment if you want the second part.